How's it going guys, Chris here and welcome to another Battlefield 5 weapon guide. In today's video we're going to be deep diving into the stats of the infamous MG42, a ruthless German machine gun for the support class that's capable of mowing down its victims from defensive positions. So the MG42, aka the Maschinengewehr 42, was one of World War II's most notorious weapons, praised by the German forces who used it and feared by the Allied forces that faced it. A belt-fed general purpose machine gun chambered for the 8mm Mauser cartridge, the MG42 was designed to replace the earlier MG34, which was more expensive and took longer to produce, as the newer model, designed and serviced in 1942, was simpler to build, fired much faster, still had a robust, reliable function and was relatively easy to use, despite being a fairly low cost weapon to manufacture. It became such a powerful asset in the German military during the war, to the point where certain infantry tactics were developed for squads who used it. One of its biggest weaknesses was the fact that it blazed through all of its ammo at such a rapid rate, presenting a bit of a logistical problem, but the MG42's devastating firepower was unmatched, capable of shredding through waves of infantry within seconds and literally being a nightmare to be up against, with its signature buzzsaw-like sound ringing through the ears of the Allies and actually giving many of them psychological issues, with lots of soldiers being truly terrified of the gun's brutal reputation. The US Army even made a training film to try and boost morale and calm the nerves of troops, saying that the MG42 was just a loud, inaccurate weapon that wasn't as savage as it sounded. It might have helped a few soldiers get by, but in reality it was a big fat lie, because the MG42 was a monstrous weapon that killed and mortally wounded thousands of troops in horrific fashion something to be taken very, very seriously when out on the field, as they were pretty much everywhere on the Western Front, mounting on top of half-tracks and panzers or sat with machine gun crews set up in defensive positions. While the MG42 was made to replace the MG34, both guns were still manufactured and used alongside each other, seeing extensive use right the way up until the end of the war in 1945. The MG42 is still used today, mainly in modified formats, and it would go on to inspire many post-war machine gun designs like the M60, with the MG42 often stated as being the greatest, most devastating machine gun ever made. So anyway, time to see what kind of destructive power the gun's got in Battlefield 5. Taking a look at the damage stats, the MG42 is going to deal 25 damage up to 10 meters, equating over to a 4 shot kill within shorter sight lines. At the range of 10 meters, damage is going to start to slope off, dropping down over distance to the gun's minimum damage of 15 at 75 meters and beyond. So at those longer ranges, it could take up to 7 bullets to drop another player, if they're further than 50 meters. This isn't really anything out of the ordinary, being pretty similar to most of the other machine guns in the support class. So when it comes down to raw damage dealt per shot, the MG42 is going to function like the rest of the pack. But of course, bullet damage isn't the thing that sent shivers down the spines of troops out on the battlefield, as it's the MG42's ferocious rate of fire that gave it such a punishing reputation. In its base form, the gun already fires at the fastest rate of all the medium machine guns at 981 RPM, potentially giving it some of the quickest kill times in the class. With the light bolt specialization, you can ramp this already rapid fire rate up to a stupidly fast 1200 RPM, allowing the gun to pretty much melt other people in the blink of an eye. This gives it even more aggressive qualities than a lot of the other MMGs, and because of the sheer amount of bullets you can discharge in such a short time, the MG42 can lay waste to people within close quarters, even whilst firing from the hip. A lot of shots are going to miss, but that doesn't really matter too much as you'll only need to land about 4 or 5 in CQC to take down another player. So although it's not designed to be used too offensively, the MG42 can still prove to be a very effective weapon in those point blank ranges, dropping players and clearing rooms fairly easily, without needing to be set up all the time. The MG42 might be able to spray lots of bullets out super fast, giving it some of the best kill times in the game on paper but those ridiculously short kill times will hardly ever be fully utilised, due to the gun having a much heavier recoil pattern than normal, making it a bit harder to control and aim with. This probably isn't really a massive surprise, a lot of rapid firing guns are usually pretty tricky to manage and track targets with, and it's no different here with the MG42, 
with the gun having a vertical recoil figure of 1.75 matching up with the S2-200, thus giving it one of the highest upwards kick values in the class. Plus it's also got some of the heaviest horizontal recoil figures too, with both its leftwards and rightwards kick being set at 0.35, so higher than the others. Coupled with the fact that the gun fires at such a rapid rate, so recoil's going to stack up even quicker than normal, and you've got yourself a gun that's not going to be very accurate, or particularly easy to stay on target with in fully automatic fire, compensating for those insanely low kill times by basically lengthening them a bit due to more shots straying away and missing. In those close to early mid ranges, this isn't really too much of a problem, as although the recoil is going to cause your gun to jump around quite a lot, even while it's bipodded, it should still seem manageable enough to use anyway, wiping players out quickly with a flurry of shots, despite having some of the worst accuracy and stability in the game. But the further away your opponent happens to be, the more that recoil starts to get in the way and present a few issues, as you'll not only find yourself missing more shots and struggling to track targets, but you'll also need to land more shots to take down other players too, and both of these factors are going to reduce the MG42's effectiveness a hell of a lot, making it much harder to use against players further away. Its vertical recoil can be reduced with the recoil buffer, and its bullet speed increased to help make it a bit more usable against players beyond those earlier ranges, but it's definitely going to seem far less dangerous than you'd expect it to be, if there's too much distance between you and the other guy when taking them on. Now, when it comes down to reliability, the MG42 can either be one of the most and least dependable MMGs in the class, depending on how you've decided to apply its specialisations. Just like a lot of the others, it uses belts, and straight out of the gate, the gun's got a maximum ammo capacity of 50 shots, hardly anything to really give it any sort of advantage over the rest, being a pretty substandard amount overall. The fact that the MG42 also fires so fast, typically shooting at speeds of 1200 RPM with a 50 round belt, means those bullets aren't really going to last very long at all, as you'll usually be able to take down a couple of enemies fine enough, but you'll also find yourself reloading a bit more than normal, especially with quite a lot of those shots being wasted while firing, because of that awkward recoil pattern. Because the MG42 uses belts, just like a lot of the other MMGs, this means that it's going to take a bit more time to reload than normal, with tactical reloads taking 4.15 seconds and empty ones taking 5.8 seconds, neither of which are particularly brilliant times. All of these things combined can make the MG42 a pretty risky weapon to use, especially within dangerous situations where you're up on the front line and likely to become overwhelmed. But the fact that the gun can have its ammo capacity increased to 250 shots, whilst firing at a still fast but slightly slower speed, makes it a lot more dependable, now having one of the biggest belts in the class. The quick reload spec is going to help you out a bit more, especially if you haven't chosen to equip that extended belt, but by choosing them both, the MG42 will quite literally be transformed into a slightly less deadly, but much more reliable weapon from something that had often struggled, allowing it to gun down a few more players in between reloads and keeping you in the fight for a fair bit longer. So anyway, regarding specialisations, the MG42 has got quite a few choices to help improve some of its biggest weaknesses and boost some of its strongest aspects. At the top of its spec tree, you'll find the recoil buffer on the left side when high velocity bullets on the right, both helping to improve precision by lowering upwards kick or increasing bullet speed. Because the gun is not exactly very easy to use over longer ranges, I find that it's not really going to benefit too much from high velocity bullets, unless you're using the gun to take on planes which isn't really the sort of thing that most people will be doing a hell of a lot. The recoil buffer is probably going to seem more beneficial to most players instead, making it a bit more stable and helping you to take down players over medium distances a bit easier as a result. Now this is where things start to get a bit interesting, because the next section has its left side dedicated to making the gun even deadlier by equipping the light bolt and flashless propellant, though the right side instead makes the gun much more reliable by granting you with a much larger extended belt and chrome lining to prevent it from overheating quite as fast. Choosing to boost the fire rate allows the gun to shred enemies up in the blink of an eye and take them down even quicker than before, which I've got to admit is pretty fun, so we can see why a lot of you guys might want to go down this route. With that said, the right side is far more practical, 
with the MG42 already shooting at some really impressive speeds straight out of the gate. You'll run out of ammo quicker with the light bolt spec, and you'll have less ammo to expend, with that capacity being maxed out at 50 rounds. So naturally, I'd normally opt for the extended belt and chrome lining specs most of the time, as it'll make the MG42 a much more well-rounded, reliable weapon, which still feels more than capable of dropping players quickly nevertheless. Though if you want to use the gun as aggressively as possible, and you're prepared to reload a lot in between enemy encounters, then the left side might seem like the better choice, putting all of your eggs in one basket and maxing out the gun's lethality. Last of all, you'll find the incendiary bullet spec on the bottom left, increasing damage against aircraft, and quick reload on the bottom right. And I think it's safe to say that for the majority of players, quick reload is probably going to seem like the most viable choice, especially if you've chosen to equip the light bolt, rather than the extended belt. It's going to be a no-brainer for most people, with the MG42 running out of shots and having some fairly sluggish reload times at standard, though if you do like to take on planes, you can combine incendiary bullets with extended belt, probe lining, and high velocity bullets to turn the gun into a pretty effective anti-air weapon, which can come in pretty handy if those planes are bombing the crap out of your team and being a bit of a pain in the ass. So, in conclusion, the MG42 is the powerhouse of the medium machine guns, a weapon that prioritises lethality over everything else, having some of the nastiest fire rates and kill times in the game, let alone the class. Within close to mid ranges, it's capable of destroying enemies in rapid speeds, generally being most effective at these sorts of distances where you can take full advantage of the gun's high power before its violent recoil starts to get in the way, forcing shots to stray off target, lengthening kill times, and making you easy pickings for a recon player lining their crosshair up with your face. The MG42 might be able to punish certain players, but it's by no means a well-rounded weapon, leaving you pretty vulnerable against enemies in the distance, due to it having, quite frankly, a pretty terrible set of recoil figures. This makes it a much more aggressive MMG compared to a lot of the others, having stats to benefit offensive playstyles excelling closer to the action, despite ultimately being a fairly defensive weapon, due to needing to set up its bipod in order to stay accurate beyond point-blank range. If you're hip-firing in close quarters, you can still turn people into bolognese and clear small rooms quite effectively, but most of the time you'll need to go prone or find a stable surface if you want to take full advantage of those vicious kill times. The MG42's characteristics can drastically change depending on which specialisations you pick, as it can either be a super deadly but not very dependable gun, or a slightly less deadly but much more dependable gun, having access to both the extended belt and quick reload specs. Whichever you choose, it's still going to be an effective killing machine, but this makes the gun function in very different ways, regarding its general reliability and whether or not it's going to get you out of a sticky situation. But overall, no matter what specialisation you choose, the MG42 is more than capable of laying waste to its victims, providing they're not too far away. It's definitely the angriest MMG in the pack, and if you don't mind sacrificing some of that accuracy for extra power, then this gun's definitely got you covered cater into the passive-aggressive player quite nicely. So that's it for another one, folks. Hope you enjoyed the guide. If you did, I've got loads more of them on my channel, so make sure you check them out, and subscribe to see new ones coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in our next episode.